Now at five o'clock, September is National Recovery Month, and as it is winding down, Senator Jack Reed, along with other advocates, gathering today, recognizing new resources for overdose prevention right here in Rhode Island. Here's ABC6 News reporter Caitlin Galehouse. America has a drug problem. This is a national issue, a national epidemic. As National Recovery Month comes to a close, Senator Jack Reed and advocates gathering Monday honoring lives lost, the progress made, and how to put recovery within reach for more Rhode Islanders. The people that I left behind, the people that I shared needles with, they died from HIV. We do not want that to be the story of the citizens of Rhode Island. Kodak's mobile unit providing wraparound services for Rhode Islanders recovering from opioid addiction. You know, we're in a situation where people with problems, you can't wait for them to come to you. You have to go to them. And that's why this van is so critically important. They've helped them with like a lot of like uh, like methadone and stuff like that. And like if they need to take showers and stuff like that. Although the Kodak mobile unit is a step in the right direction, a recent report came out from the Department of Health, a public health advisory due to the ongoing high rate of drug overdose in one socket. In the past six months, the one socket community seeing a significantly higher rate of overdose burden that is more than twice the statewide average. I was disappointed. Um, I'm not disappointed in the services that are being provided. I think it took us a while to get the money out, and I think over the next few months, those numbers will come back down. Thompson working to successfully give opioid settlement funds to the One Socket Prevention Coalition. We need to get them into counseling. We need to get them. We need to put this money to good use. We need to get people that want to get off the opioids. We need to get them off the street, and we need to get them into treatment. In one socket, Caitlin Gellhouse, ABC6 News.